Intel is aiming for all budgets with the Arc Alchemist graphics cards. Whether you want to play at 1080p with playable frame rates or whether you want to max out games at 1440p resolution. If you have been following this channel, you might already know that Intel has two entry level graphics cards that are supposed to provide decent gaming experience at 1080p and are supposedly going to compete with upcoming Nvidia's RTX 3050 and AMD's Navi 24 graphics cards. One of these two is the ARC A380 graphics card which is right now one of the most popular unreleased GPUs that is looking very promising. The prominent leaker Momomo underscore US posted on Twitter some of the ARC A380 GPU spec and also linked to its actual benchmark on C software website. From here we can actually confirm that the new graphics card from Intel is named ARC A380 and it features a clock speed of 2.45 GHz. There are all the benchmark numbers listed here that include all types of analysis numbers but for gamers the general purpose GPU processing benchmark is what we need to look for. It scored 2869 MP per second in GPU processing at 2.45 GHz and ranks 177 locally while taking the 229 spot globally. This leaves the GTX 1650 Super as well as the GTX 1660 Ti behind. But numbers always aren't right as we all know that GTX 1660 Ti is much faster than the 1650 Super. However, the 1650 Super reached that number when it was overclocked while the 1660 Ti is tested on the stock clock speed. According to video cards, the ARC A380 should be right between the RTX 3050 and 3050 Ti laptop graphics cards. That means the ARC A380 is going to be very capable of playing almost every game on high to ultra settings with 60 FPS at 1080p resolution. To see where it stands against the Turing GTX 16 series, we have enough benchmarks on YouTube where we can see that the RTX 3050 Ti is nearly equal to the 1660 Ti where it sometimes beats the latter and sometimes falls behind by a little margin in a few games. Overall, if this theoretical performance comes out exactly as it is expected, it should at least beat the 1660 if not the 1660 Super. With Intel's 128 execution units, high clock frequency of 2.4 GHz and 4 GB of GDDR6 memory, I do think it is going to be somewhere around the performance of GTX 1660. But there is also a weird thing about this graphics card. If you haven't noticed, Momomo doesn't say that it comes with 4GB of VRAM but it is 4.8GB which is bizarre. It might be the case that he quoted a defective sample or the GPU didn't got detected properly. Tom from Moore's Law is Dead previously reported that it might come in two variants, one with 4GB and one with 6GB VRAM. So I'm going to stick with that. I hope these specs will make it a tough competitor to the current sub $300 graphics cards. And it will be more of a game changer if it costs somewhere around $150 to $200. CES is about to begin and more official updates on this will be available soon. However, this card won't launch in January along with AMD and Nvidia new budget graphics cards. But the DG2 cards with 512 and 384 execution units are going to launch first but in March instead. I hope that Intel changes the GPU game and make the GPU availability better. And if you don't want to miss any latest updates on it or on other PC hardware, I recommend you to subscribe to the channel and share this video with someone who is as enthusiastic as you are. And I will see you next time.